The Dirty Pig One fine day, a dirty pig was soaking himself in a pool. A thirsty lion came to drink water, but unable to bear the heavy stench went away. The foolish pig thought that the lion cowed down seeing him and excitedly challenged him to a duel. Maybe tomorrow, replied the lion and turned away from the smelly pig. The pig went home and told his parents how he had challenged a coward lion. What have you done you, foolish pig? It's not you, but your stench that made him run away, explained his father. The dirty pig's excitement crashed instantly. His father suggested that he should leisurely roll in the dirty waters so that he might stink even more and then meet the lion. The pig listened to his father. As soon as the lion approached him, the foul smell spread around and he ran away unable to bear it. Since then, pigs always keep themselves dirty so that no animal might come near them. The Little Gray Donkey the fair had come to the village after a long time. Everyone in the village was excited about it. The elders wanted to see the big games, and the children ran to enjoy the different rides. But nobody came to the donkey man for rides. Ragu, the donkey man was sad. Alas! I will not be able to make a single penny. What will I gift my wife? wondered Ragu. He waited for the children to come to him for rides. The little gray donkey was watching all this. He loved his master very much. How can I help my master? he wondered. Then an idea struck him and he started to bray loudly. All the children were surprised to hear the noise and came running to the donkey. What is he saying? asked one child. Ragu joyfully said, he is saying, come, ride me and see what fun it is. Soon Ragu had many children queuing up to ride the donkey. He was very happy, and so were the children. The Trickster Monkey there lived a very naughty monkey named Mogri who loved to play pranks on other animals. He would drop rotten fruits on other animals and laugh at their discomfort. Samba the lion didn't find Mogri's tricks funny. It was insulting for the king of the jungle to have rotten fruits flung at him. He warned Mogri, wait. I'll teach you a lesson soon. But Mogri was too quick and managed to escape each time. One day, Mogri dropped an overripe mango on Samba's nose. But unfortunately, the branch on which he was sitting broke and he fell right on the lion's back. Samba roared in anger and twisted from side to side to shake Mogri off. But the monkey clung tightly onto the lion's back. Samba charged through the forest, yet Mogri, though terrified, remained on his back. Finally tired, Samba bent down to drink water from a pond. Mogri took this opportunity to make good his escape. Ever since Mogri was too terrified to play a trick on Samba. The clever reply. One day the lion, the king of the jungle, called an important meeting at his den. The lion was very dirty, and so was his den. Unable to bear the smell, the zebra covered his nose. How dare you cover your nose? Does my den stink? roared the lion. The zebra had no adequate reply and the lion threw him out of the den. The king then asked the elephant the same question. No, it smells of roses, replied the frightened elephant. The lion wasn't happy with this reply either and knocked the elephant's trunk. He then asked the fox. 
Sir, I have a cold so I cannot smell anything, replied the intelligent fox. The lion was happy with this clever reply and made the fox his minister. Thanks for watching.